Good morning LEGO fans, welcome back to another retro review. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've done one of these properly, so I thought I'd just get right on into it. So long before the ever popular LEGO Jurassic World series uh, that spawned comic books, uh, TV shows, all kinds of things, lunchboxes, who knows, uh, I think they might have toys too, gosh. Uh, but anyway, long before all that, LEGO was uh, just experimenting with the dinosaur theme, uh, and as, as such they came out with LEGO Dinosaurs very original. Uh, so this, uh, if you may not know, uh, is a series of modular sort of uh, animal creation sets. Uh, they have a variety of parts in the set itself and then you could just kind of build whatever prehistoric animal you want. Uh, usually they had like a three in one, which is kind of like the the beginning of the three in one build em sets that they have nowadays. But, um, but yeah, that all aside, um, I just thought I'd share with you, first of all, the box that it came in. And as you can see, this kind of uh, is indicative of what LEGO was doing in the early 2000s. They were trying to differentiate themselves from other boxes and things in, on the store shelves. And so they were uh, experimenting with sort of plasticky, uh, I don't know, diorama-esque uh, uh, boxes. Uh, as you can see up on the top here, we have a couple LEGO studs so you can put the finished dinosaur up on top, which uh, nobody really does. I guess you can take this off and make it a little plinth or whatever. But as you can see, I got the very best one. 6720 the Transformers Rex. Uh, that look at that. That's a that's a face of beauty right there. That's that's gorgeous. Uh, it can transform into any of these other dinosaurs, but I don't have the appropriate parts for them, uh, so we will not be reviewing them. I'll just point out where they can transform or whatever. So you can see these other uh, other creatures that you can collect. Uh, there's a Trans Transformers Rex. There's a Brontosaurus. There's a Plesiosaurus. And there's a Triceratops, uh, all the good uh, classic dinosaur sets. So without further ado, let's uh, bring on the dinosaur. Ooh, <laughs> it looks a lot better on the box, let me tell you. Get over there, Ben. Uh, so this is the Transformers Rex, and as you might have guessed, they've, uh, they do a lot better ones these days. Uh, so this is really their, uh, one of their very first uh, attempts at Transformers Rex. I remember they did something similar with the uh, kind of the Lego movie theme, sub-theme, but this was one of the very first ones. As you can tell, it has uh, the the dragon uh, scaly arms here, and uh, just it's very primitive in terms of how it can pose and whatnot. Um, I'll just take this off here to share with you. So you can see here we have uh, just very basic, just a hole in stud and just kind of a ratcheting theme going on. You can't really do much with the legs. You can change the feet a little bit, I guess. Um, but just slotting this whole thing on here, we can create a whole creature that can just, just kind of sit over there in the corner. And it's very interesting, a very unique design choice. Um, it is uh, proportionate to minifigures. So you can have these little guys run away as fast as possible from this monstrosity, which is a T-Rex, apparently. Uh, you can see that the uh, the spine of Saurus uh, can attach its spine to the back here. Uh, the legs can obviously be changed, the tail can be changed, the head can be popped off <clears throat> Ooh, in a very odd way, in kind of like a uh, pre uh, bionicle sort of ratcheting effect there. And looking at the head, we can really appreciate the, the modern sculpting abilities. I'm not really talking about that weird recessed eye right there, but I'm more or less talking about the tongue. Let's just kind of pry that out of there. So as we can see, flipping it over, it might look familiar. That, in addition to being a dragon's head, is the ever familiar crocodile head. And now it is a, a dinosaur's tongue. Isn't that really cool? That's, that's cool, right? Uh, I really enjoyed how, how Lego always ends up reusing various parts and things. And even if they don't use the whole uh, overall arching theme like this in dinos Lego Dinosaurs. They did use this kind of rationing uh, technique on the Moss Eisley um, Dewback uh, figure that came out a couple years later. I think that came out in 2004. I'm not, I'm not really precise on that. But so they reuse their own technology. They have little experiments like Lego Dinosaurs, which in my opinion just kind of flopped. It, it's cool and all, uh, don't get me wrong. 
but it's uh, lacking the kind of detail and things that, well, we're used to nowadays. Um, also, I think I broke his jaw. Jeez. It wouldn't be a video if I didn't break something on, on, <laughs> on camera, right? So, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I had to share with you. This very weird uh, Transformers Rex. This tail might be a little too long. I'm not really sure. Who knows? I just kind of went nuts with the parts. Um, but yeah, so if you'd like to see more retro reviews and things where I share uh, just random whatnot, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!